Hi, this is Eric with the California Climbing School. I'd like to show you a few different ways to belay with a grigri from the top of the climb. And the grigri is the best tool to belay from the top in a lot of situations because it has the self-blocking, it has the smooth, buttery, almost frictionless belay action, it has the ability to lower them back down with a redirect, and you can build a three to one pulley system to give your partner a boost quite easily. So a powerful tool, let's get into it. So what we're gonna do is let's say I've led my trad climb and let's say I've only placed just the one piece and I put a quick draw on it. And I haven't built my anchor yet. So I can clip into the one piece, build the rest of the anchor, equalize it with my cordelette and then secure myself. I usually like to use the rope cause it's any distance I want. And I'll tie a clove hitch to a locker on the master point adjust it to wherever I want to be. Okay, cinch it down. And then I'll just go ahead and keep that rope right there and yell, off belay, to my partner. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling down and stacking the rope at my feet. So there's gonna be some extra rope that you're just sitting at your partner's feet. So pull all that extra slack out of the system and keep that stack nice and compact at your feet and uh, pat it down a few times. If it gets too big, it gets a little unruly and tangly sometimes. So um, when your partner says, that's me, don't respond. Don't even say anything because they might start climbing before you're ready. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the grigri and we're gonna put the grigri locker on the left since our climber our partner is coming up on the left side. And then I like the orientation here with the handle on the outside because if I put the handle to the inside then that's going to interfere with me being able to operate the handle and the self-blocking function. So if it's overhung that's nicer because then you don't have to worry so much about which the interaction with the rock. So to put the rope in the grigri, easy to get that wrong so make sure you've got it oriented properly and then you can go ahead and test it out make sure it's locking before you say belay is on. Now, as you're belaying, you'll notice that this high master point I have is just making it so easy for me to belay. And if I have a low master point, I'm down like this, I'm stooping and I can't keep up with my partner, I'm getting a backache. So high master point is the way. Here's the hand motion with the right-handed break, left-handed guide hand. We're gonna pull with both hands, slide the guide hand down, match to both, break hand goes up and release. Repeat, pull, slide down and match, break hand goes up and release. The break hand never leaves the rope. Now if your partner, let's say you wanna take their photo and they wanna pose, you can just go ahead and go hands free by tying an overhand on a bite, essentially as a stopper knot right close to the grigri, and then your hands free, go ahead and snap your photo. And then when you're done, just go ahead and go back into belay mode. <coughs> All right, now let's say that your partner is struggling on the crux and you're thinking about giving them a boost. So you can tension up the belay strand and then go ahead and tie a friction hitch like a climb heist or in this case a press hook hitch. I'm just kind of lightly holding onto the brake hand or you could tie it off with an overhand on a bite if you wanted to let go completely. And then give your friction hitch a little tug, make sure it's gripping. And then just grab a non-locker is all you need. Non-locker will do the job. Slide that friction hitch down as low as you can reach. And then give your partner, they'll just let them know, okay, on the count of three, let's go. One, two, three. And then you can give them a boost. And then see how the Grigri will capture the progress. You can slide your friction hitch back down. Okay, one, two, three. then you can just go back to belay mode. Now, if you want to lower someone down, then what you want in that case is a redirect carabiner, a locker, okay? So we use a non-locker there, because whatever, if it broke, that wasn't gonna injure anyone. But here we need a locker to redirect for the lower. So put it on the brake side, and then redirect over that rounded flange right there into the locker. 
and then give him a warning lowering, and then you can lower him back down. All right, it's bonus skill time. Now let's say that you really wanna be able to watch your partner while they're following the pitch so you can give them better coaching, but the anchor that you built is so far back from the lip that you don't have a view. So watch this, this is cool. So you lead the pitch. Get a locker on the master point once you build the anchor. Lock it down, you're still on belay at this point. Down climb a little bit, so you have a view over the edge. Get some slack above you. Tie a big overhand on a flight with two strands coming out. Okay, there's the two strands. So, I've created a tether for me, as well as a, a extended master point. As soon as I clip that, boom, I'm safe. Off belay. I can go ahead and stack the rope at my feet. So my partner says that's me. Thread the gree gree. Lock it down. Test it. Blaze on! And away you go.